coding might be the best skill I've ever acquired, and it's opened the door to some incredible opportunities. It's enabled me to get a great job as a software developer, as well as a second income from this YouTube channel. But let's be real, the road to mastering coding was filled with unexpected twists and lessons I wish I would have known from the start. Besides soon completing a computer science degree, I've been working as a software developer for 9 months now, mainly working with Windows applications in C++. But my first coding adventure took place in my childhood bedroom, piecing together a Minecraft mod in Java. Those were the days. But there's a lot I wish I would have known before getting into coding, so I made this video so that you can save time, be less frustrated and perhaps even change your approach to coding. One. It's easier than I thought. When I first dipped my toes into the world of coding, I braced myself for what I imagined would be a grueling journey. The idea of sitting in front of my computer all day, translating my thoughts into code seemed daunting, if not outright intimidating. I couldn't have been more wrong though. I wouldn't say coding is super easy, but it's certainly not super hard either. In fact, with the right approach, it's quite accessible. If you focus yourself on creating projects and taking it slow and steady, it's quite frankly a breeze. I'd really like to emphasize how important it is to work slowly though. These days everyone, including me, wants things to happen almost instantly. But that doesn't work with coding, because if you rush, you won't learn much, and you'll also make lots of errors. Coding cannot be a sprint, so if you're going too fast, pace yourself. 2. It doesn't require a lot of math. When I was in school, I was alright at math. I think I typically get a B+, but I can't say I enjoyed it at all until 6 months ago, when I started getting decent at C++. But when I reflect upon my journey as a coder, I've realized that you don't have to be a math wizard to excel as a programmer. Sure, you definitely need to be logical, otherwise the computer won't understand you. But logic is an easy to learn skill, and you'll improve it automatically as you build your projects. Deep mathematical knowledge wasn't as crucial as I had feared. If you're still watching this video, then chances are you're someone who's willing to work hard to make a positive change for yourself. In that case, click the subscribe button and the bell icon right now, and let's start building this community together. Sorry for the slight pause, let's get back to it. 3. Learning doesn't ever stop. As a software developer, I'll be learning new things every day for the rest of my life. But before getting into the world of coding, I had this notion that there'd come a day when I'd have it all figured out. I imagined a future where I'd work seamlessly in my editor, crafting code without ever googling, consulting ChatGPT, or watching tutorials. I don't think I've ever been this wrong about something before. The reality is though that as programmers, learning never ever stops. In fact, a significant chunk of my day, more than half, is dedicated not to writing code, but to watching tutorials, reading documentation, browsing Stack Overflow, and even asking others. 4. Some days it'll feel like you know nothing. Becoming a programmer means accepting a curious paradox. The more you know, the more you realize you don't know. There might never come a point where you'll feel like you're a skilled coder. I certainly rarely do, even after going at it for years. Some days I feel like I know everything, but the next day it might be the opposite. But I think the reason for this is that coding is so complex, and there's so much to learn, that will never ever feel complete. 5 soft skills, such as problem solving, teamwork, and most importantly, communication. When we're writing code, we're not just telling the computer what to do, we're also communicating our intents to other humans that will read our code in the future. When I first started working as a software developer, communication was the biggest challenge for me. I just wasn't able to clearly get my point across. I've improved a lot recently, but it's worth talking about this since it's so important. If you like this video, the best thing you can do is to click like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Once you've done that, click and watch the video that's on screen right now. Thanks Thanks for watching and good luck with your coding.